today I'm going to be harvesting our broom corn. It is right now it's like October 20 something and I this is our first year doing broom corn so it's been quite the learning experience for me this year and I actually harvested it before like I think it was I want to say like the middle of September so over a month ago I came out here and I was like I'm gonna harvest it I think it's time and I totally jumped the gun and I cut it when it was not quite ready yet and I didn't really know it at the time but I think like I did like looking back on it I was like I felt like when I was cutting it it was like I knew something was wrong like I don't know is this right I was questioning myself and I remember it was an extremely hot day so I think maybe the weather was getting to me too it was like over 90 degrees so I don't think I was thinking right that day when I harvested it so anyway I, I um, cut a whole bunch of it a good amount and then afterwards I googled it and it said the best time to harvest broom corn is the mid to end of October and I was like oh my gosh I was like a month or more early so I'm out here again it's like October 24th I think and I'm gonna attempt to harvest it um, for real this time the right way um, at the right time I'm just getting uh, these uh, I think they're black amber variety and they look perfect they look like when we should be harvesting them and so I'm just cutting like a little bit because I learned the hard way last time when I did this, when I did it early, I was cutting way down here. You know, I would cut them like way, way down here like this. And then I got these big stalks and I laid them in the grass and was stripping them and it was just, it was crazy. So I'm not gonna do that anymore. I guess it was maybe a good thing that I learned or did it before because I learned now what not to do because all I'm doing is going to use these for like projects this this winter so I don't really like I think it would be a waste of my time to have to cut all the way down on a thing like you know like why cut twice why only why don't you just cut one time so that's why I'm cutting way up there and then I don't have to you know go back through and cut again and gather them it's just so much work I read on the internet uh, back when I was realizing my mistake is that they said once it starts falling over, like once the broom court corn all starts falling over, that's a good indicator that it's time to cut it. And all of these is, I don't know if you can probably notice, I'll show you better down there. They're all falling over. And it makes it a lot easier to cut because they're not as tall, you know, like instead of reaching way up. So pretty. And I'm glad that I know now that I learned the last time from my mistake is um, not cutting the whole, not cutting the whole thing, you know, and carrying them out. It's just too much work for not worth it. These are really tall up here, but they're kind of not that easy to cut. I mean, they're, it, it's, it's a lot easier doing it now than when I did it last time because it's not hot out and um, I'm just cutting, you know, like the, the top basically off. Cause I'm just gonna use them in resin and for wreaths and stuff. So I don't really need them to be very long. I missed the boat on some of these. Look at this. That is um, past bloom. See, so I missed it. Maybe I should have came out here earlier. Goodness, I don't know. It's not like a ton that we missed. And they are really nice ones, so I think it's okay. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Gosh, it's, this is a learning experience. <laughs> it's so hard to figure out you know if when I'm supposed to be cutting these things because like some of them I'll pull down and I'm like okay it looks a little past bloomed or past whatever you know like that and then the red ones whoops that dark one looks fine 
That one looks fine. That red one. The black one looks like I probably should have cut them earlier. And then this one. But then sometimes I have to like cut them way down like that because I can't reach the top. And then, uh, see, see, it's like all plumed out. But I think that's fine because the color is just so cool on it. So I think it's gonna look cool in resin. So it should be okay, it'll be okay. I don't know. I think I'm just over, overthinking it like normal. I'm gonna try to get all these super tall ones right here. Um, I think I'm gonna, see, I can't reach the top like my plan was, what I just said. Oh, this was gonna be easier. I'll just, I'll just cut them way up at the top. Well, I guess I can't really do that. <laughs> Cause they're so tall, you know. Oh. Wow, and everywhere you look, there's like more. It's like so much of it. And they're all just randomly falling on each other. Yeah, broom corn is very interesting too. Harvest, that's for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're cool though. I mean, I know this angle is probably not that great, but I mean, they're cool. They are like really bloomed out like a, like a broom. Like you're gonna sweep the floor. That's what they said when, you, if you're gonna sweep the floor, that's what it should look like, like a broom. So that's, that's what we got. That's what we're doing. <laughs> there is so much of it I didn't realize until I really well I kind of knew but I didn't really know until I got out here how much of it it is so I definitely did too much I didn't know it was gonna come up so good you know wow <laughs>
I've been standing like in this same spot right here and getting them. And I got all these and I'm realizing that it's not even like making a dent. So I'm just gonna keep doing it, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all of them because I already feel like I have tons. This is just one clump. I already have like four other clumps already besides these. Um, I'm gonna show you like maybe walk down so you can kind of see what I'm seeing, how much it is. Over there is where I was cutting, where I just was, you know, cutting that just a little tiny space. And look at all of it. Like it's so much, it's way so much. So and then when you get closer, you can even really tell how much it is. It's just a lot. I don't know how I'm gonna attempt to cut all of this. And then they're like falling over. So there's even more, you know, like it's like, you know, there's just so many. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. Oh, they're just so pretty. I love them. Oh my goodness. All right, well, I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna just get as many as I can. And I'm just gonna get the good, the like the good, super cool, colorful ones. <laughs> I'm not gonna be afraid to step down on, like this is an old sunflower. I'm just gonna kinda step, step on stuff. And then maybe that will lead me to the broom corn so I'm not like tripping because I feel like I'm tripping over stuff and I just don't wanna trip with my scissors in my hands, you know? I was thinking too, what if I just uh, like stepped on them and like smashed them all down and then I could reach it better. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Like this. <laughs> oh, I should probably uh, watch a video on how, how other people harvest this stuff because it is kind of tricky. I just, I can't, I'm not even like making a dent. Interesting. <laughs> Oh my word. Uh, well, this is quite the process. <laughs> oh, I did not realize how hard cutting room corn is. <laughs> wow. Uh, my arms are so tired already from going like this. It's so pretty though. It's worth it. I think I'm doing okay. I'm maybe making a dent. Oh. I, I don't know. It's just kind of overwhelming. Like, cause there's so many. I know I keep saying that, but it's just like, I don't even know where to start, you know? Like I'm just like, everywhere I look, there's another one I can cut. And then it's hard to get back in here. So I, I don't know, I'm just kind of like stepping on them. Which I don't know, whatever. And then pulling them down. And look at that, it's just so pretty. Oh, wow. 
so I think I'm doing it okay. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be hot either. We haven't had the sun out in a long time. So I got my snow pants on thinking I was going to be freezing out here and it's nice out. Here's another whole group. So, okay, so we got to figure out how to do this. Um, if I pull a whole bunch down and snap it, I'm going to do another angle so you can see what I'm doing. So if I pull it all down and then I take them and cut, maybe that's what I should be doing. <laughs> this is easier. Okay, I think I'm figuring it out. So all I have to do is pull over. This is so much easier. Look how many I'm doing now at a time. All I have to do is just grab a whole bunch, pull them all over like this, and then cut them. Wow, that's so much easier. Okay, we figured that out. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, look how many I got in just that what not even a minute literally oh heck yeah cool i'm just throwing it down so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pull over a whole bunch like this and then see what we got in it we got a couple we got a couple Whew. they want to snap back <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna knock all these over. <laughs> Step on them all. <laughs> oh, and then just grab them all. Just grab them all like this. Oh my word. And then maybe like stand over them. Like this. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. I don't know how to do this. Wow. It works though. I mean, you just now you just grab them all like this. <laughs> I show you. So I just knocked them all over. And then I'm just going to get the colored ones. There's one way up there. <sighs> yeah, maybe I'll stand like this. That'll probably be easier. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Wow. direct seeded all of it we didn't know if it was going to turn out or not you know and sure enough <laughs> it sure does gosh I think I might have plenty well I did not realize how dangerous cutting broom corn is or harvesting broom corn you can trip very easily and you have sharp scissors in your hand, so not a good thing to trip with. And you're constantly going like this above your head, you know. And then you have to pull it way down like this, and you know, you kind of get a little, whoo, dizzy. So it's pretty intense. I didn't, I mean, I did know it last time when I was doing it, but I just thought maybe it was the heat that was getting to me, but. <laughs> I just think it's it's a hard one to a hard one to cut, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, I oh my gosh. All right, I am gonna uh, go bring all this to the wagon. This isn't even all of it. This is just like my piles on that side. It's so heavy. Look at the um, stalks. That's all the stalks. But I don't even think we got 
Honestly, I don't even think I got half of it. I don't think I cut half of it. And I got that much, plus all the black and all the piles I made on that side. So I'm gonna go gather my piles and then let's see how much we got and decide if we should cut more or what. Cause I'm just really confused on um, if I should cut it all or not. Right, I gathered everything that we cut so far. I'm gonna attempt to pick it all up so you can see. I think I can do it. It's just really heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. Wow. It's so much. It's like all the way around both my arms. <laughs> all right, now I got a rubber band it all. I'm rubber banding these I was thinking about it and I think out of all of the cut flowers that we did this year like our garden I would say these are the hardest to harvest <laughs> they are really 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 uh, intense and dangerous to harvest and then after that I would, I would say the sunflowers were the next hardest, but we got like ginormous sunflowers. That's why I think, I didn't know they were gonna be that tall. So, but I would say these were quite a bit harder to um, work with cutting than the, even the sunflowers when I thought the sunflowers were intense. So I'm done though, I did it. I don't know if I'm gonna do any more. I just can't, there's just so, there's just so much already here. Look. Okay, we got one, two, two, three, four, five, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Look at all that. Okay. Now, I gotta go make nine holes in the, um, or not nine holes, nine um, uh, nail holes in the basement rafters, you know, to hang all these on, which isn't bad. But I think I might ask my husband if I should just go ahead and do all of them, see what he says, but it's pretty intense and I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I'll show you me hanging them in the basement. So we're down in the basement and I have like all the nail holes filled up. So that's going to be my problem is I don't really know. There's the broom corn I just, we just cut. So my problem is, is I have to like find some space, you know, to, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Okay. I remember I have this area over here. Yep, I'll turn the light on and we'll hang them over here because I forgot. I just have to pound in nine nail holes because this was my like overflow area because <laughs> all my nails were full, you know? And then I started hanging them on the wall over there. <laughs> That's gonna be too hard to climb up over there where I was gonna put them. So I did find like just random ones up above that I'm just gonna plug them in wherever let's hope they don't fall because they're so heavy oh my gosh oh that's not gonna hold yeah the nail just broke out oh, i can't hopefully I don't step on the nail oh my gosh okay i'm standing on my swivel chair so probably not the best idea but it's okay i i'm pretty used to it i do it all the time so i'm just hoping i can hang these up here without them falling because they're extremely heavy, you know? I got one more on my chair. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, so we already hung one, two, three, four, five out of the um, nine. And I see another okay, up here. another place to hang on. And see any more? No. I think I could nail some, some up there. Okay. I got them all hung. There's one clump. Oh, those are the ones that I um, 
cut too early, like, you know, back in September. Look at the difference. Like, no color. It's not ripe yet. And then cut on time. <laughs> so quite a big uh, difference. And then we hung the other one. See that, like, big group that's hanging down? That's the other ones that we um, hung up. So I'll go on the other side so maybe you can see it better here. So cool, now we'll just wait for them to dry all the way out and then we should be okay. <laughs> all right, well, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope you thought it might be interesting watching me cut the broom corn. Sorry if I was a little intense there. It was, it was harder than what I was thinking it was gonna be. So, but we got it done. Well, like half of it, but whatever. <laughs> we got some of it hanging in the basement, so I'm happy with that. I'll probably get more the rest of it maybe in a couple days or something but um all right well i hope you're having a great day and uh thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time all right bye